All right, guys, back at it again with another video. Today, we're gonna check out this Mr. Heater portable body heater. And yeah, let's see if this thing does what it says. Okay, so we're back. This, I just picked this up at Home Depot, was walking through, I needed a heater because I'm trying to do van life and I also work on properties that sometimes they don't have heat in the building and I need a little heat. And this says it's good for indoors. It's, uh, it goes from 4,000 to 9,000 BTUs and it's portable. There's lots of good reviews online. So I was like, let me check it out. This particular one I got for like 60 bucks at Home Depot. And uh, I also picked up some cans of uh, gas, the camping gas, which works with it. So these are like $2 a piece. So that this these are not expensive. So never used this before, never had any heater e heaters like this before. So this is the first time I'm trying on something like this. So let's see how easy it is to use right out of the box if there's anything you need to know. I'm learning just as you guys are gonna learn right now. All right, let me get some, open this baby up. Use my keys. And while I'm opening this up, guys, um, this is a new channel. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. It's free. Help me get to a thousand subscribers, please. All right, so right here we got some reading material, you know, instructions and all that stuff. Yeah, which I never read. So the units in here slides right out. Pretty nice packaging. And I, yeah, I like when they use cardboard styrofoam. You know, you can't recycle that. So this is good that they have cardboard in the bag. Little plastic to cover it up, but can't kill them for that. All right, let me. Hold on. Let me just rest this unit on the box for now. So there is nothing else in the box. Looks like every it comes pre-assembled and everything already. You don't need to add any nuts or bolts or screw on screws on it. And if you notice when I tilt it back. You hear that? That's the safety mechanism. So if this heater is on and somebody tips it over, it'll shut itself off, which is pretty awesome because you never know what could happen if somebody kicks this over, or hits it over, and you don't want this thing to be running and cause a fire. So that's, that's safety right there. So that's the front, has a grill. So if it falls forward, the grill will be hot, but hopefully it doesn't catch anything on fire. And got the switch right here, the pilot, turn it off and on and up and down. Got a nice handle. This is pretty light, I'd say about five pounds or so. And on the back, it looks like you could hook this up on the wall, has mounting brackets right there where you could just put screws in the wall and hook it onto something. And on the right side is where you put your propane at your gas right here. So, like I said, got me some gas at Home Depot. Let me see how easy this is. This is this video is in real time. I'm not editing this video. I'm just from the start to the finish. So I just pull the cap off. I never used one of these before, but I'm just thinking it's simple like this. You screw it on there. So screw it on, just like you do for your, your grill at home. No tools required. Just tighten it with your hand. I tightened it a while ago. I heard the gas like started running inside the unit, filling, filling the lines up. Oh, and that's pretty sweet. There's a little magnet right here. I felt it. There's a little magnet right there. You guys can see it. So it holds the can in place so it doesn't, if it tilts like this, it's not swinging out from the side. So that's pretty good. All right. 
it's in the off position right now. I'm going to go ahead and move this box out of the way because you're not supposed to have this on anything that could topple over. Move anything that's flammable out of the way. This is the first time of me turning this baby on. So it's on off right now. I'm going to put it in the pilot position. You press it down, turn it. And you just crank it like there's a flame. So you, there's a flame. I just pressed it like twice. The flame is there. You got to hold it down for a little bit. So the thermocoupling heats up and the flame will stay on. And I'm going to release it right now. Because that's like five seconds. So you see the pilot's on right now. And you just turn it and put it on low. It lights up. Pretty nice. That was pretty easy, effortless, no tools required. I love that about it. It's on low, I could feel the heat, and it's burning pretty clean. I can't even see the flames. Let me turn it up on high to see how it kicks. Okay, right now it's all the way up. There you go. Easy, right out the box. Like basic, you don't need any mechanical skills to use this heater. It's pretty sturdy on the floor, the way it's designed. You have to really like hit this or kick this over and if it falls over, you're gonna know. It won't just like fall over without anybody knowing. So I like how it is. It sits right there. You can move it around with the handle. The handle is plastic, so it doesn't get hot. Heating up really nice right now. I could feel the heat radiating off of it. So like I said, I'm gonna use this in my van when I'm going on trips to keep my van warm. And um, also, when I'm on a job site and I'm working where there's no heat, I'll also be using this. So that's why I like the portability of it. It's not stationary where I just have to use it in my van or in my house. I could use it anywhere. I, I need to use it in a tent somewhere, you know, boom, put it in my tent, put it in my van, use it in an apartment that I'm working on. So I, it, it, the portability of it, that's what I like. And um, like I said, it goes up to 9,000 BTUs, which is, uh, that covers 225 square feet. So that's pretty, that's a good amount of square footage. It could run on low, it could run on low for 5.4 hours. And if you have it on high, it runs for 2.4 hours. So if I have this in my van, which my van is a small space, I think I'll be running this on low. And yeah, so one can should last me like one night. And this, they also sell a, a hose. You can, a hose attachment you could use. So you could put a regular size propane tank on it just like you use for your barbecue grill so that's um I, I like it like that about it too you could you could um you, you don't have to use these little cans you could put it on a big 20 pound cylinder and get a longer use out of it so that's pretty cool you could you could use this outdoors it doesn't have to be in an enclosed space you know if you're fishing or somewhere where you, you can't make like a fire pit or whatever. You just have this outside. You guys sit around it and do what you need to do. Like I said, it's very portable. I'm going to test this out. This is my first one. Never had one of these before. I've worked on job sites where other guys have similar heaters like this, but not as small. So this is heating up really good right now in here. And this is a big space that I'm in. I'm in like an unfinished house right now. I could feel the room warming up already. So
So I might make another video with this once I start using it more, maybe when I go on a camping trip and you guys could see, you know, what it really does. I could give you my opinion when once I use it like multiple times overnight and stuff and let you know what's up. But, but so far, so good. A lot of good reviews online. So there you go, guys. Like, subscribe, share, and help me grow this channel to a thousand, baby. See you in the next one. Peace.